how you all do it. Uh, before I start the video I'd just like to say a massive thank you to the Northerner and also a massive thank you to Sheen. So yes, thanks for buying me a coffin. A coffin? <laughs> I haven't yet bought me a coffin. I don't want to go yet. Oh my god. Yep, thanks for buying me a coffee. Cheers Steve. Cheers Alan. I managed not to slip that time. Yep, cheers guys. Okay, so we've bought some more new bits. Uh, but before we get started, I better clean up a bit. And also in this video I'll be showing you how I start my day before I get in the shed. So, let's get on with it. Right then, let's get started. Oh, I am knackered and I am sweating. Oh. So, this is the CBR rear wheel. Uh, I've got two of these and this is the best one. <laughs> and this is the one that came off the bike. Uh, let me give you a close up. As you could probably see, the sprocket is pretty good, it's not too bad. Uh, move on to the tyre. Tyre looks pretty good on the sides. No cracking. No perished rubber. Oh. The only trouble is, it's got a square wall and a nice shiny face. Yes, you can definitely say my bike was running to the ground, can't you? And then we go around to the other side, onto the disc, and the, the dip in that feels like the Nottingham Canal. I don't know if you can tell on there. There is a massive dip in the middle of the disc, where it's totally worn. Uh, the other disc on the other wheel is the just as bad. In fact that one's got little cracks in it, little fractures. So I spent £40 on this. Oh that's bloody heavy. Yes it was a couple of weeks ago now so I've totally forgotten what it is. <laughs> yes they all seem to say that don't they? I've got a parcel but I can't remember what it is. I've got my split there. We get a blade. Try and get rid of all this. Looks like it's been packed pretty well, so that's a good sign. Oh yes. A load of crap. Yes, we have bought a load of crap. And if you can see there, fracture, see there, fracture, see there, fracture, starting to fracture, fracture. So the disc is no use whatsoever. So that's a bit of a shock. So I hope we can see better for the tire. Tire don't look that much for me better either.
to have a look at the sprocket. <laughs> I don't know why they put that round the fucking disc when it's fucking naked. Uh, fucking idiots. At least the sprocket looks pretty now. Yeah, the sprocket looks pretty good. The tyre. And the tyre is on its last legs. So I've said it before, eBay or Evil Bay is worse than the local landfill. Okay, so what disappointment we got next? Whew, now we've got that bombshell out of the way, what next? Let's open it and find out. I know what it is. Last but not least. It's for the engine of the CBR landfill bike. Oh. And a receipt which will go with the paperwork of the bike when it's finally sold. I'm not going to sell it straight away. Yes. Engine oil. I still need a oil filter and sump plug and clutch cover gasket. And then that's the engine done. So that's it really. So what? nearly 75 pounds worth of packaging 40 pound of it totally down the swanee uh, yes yeah, so next we will be uh, moving on to how I start my day before I get in the shed and uh, stay tuned for next Saturday's video because we're going to be finishing the engine off setting the tappets setting the timing uh, talking all these cylinder red bolts down and yeah so don't miss that so now it's over to him
see you in another life, brother.